Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done a little video and I am doing some spring cleaning. Not in my garage, which obviously needs it, but that's what happens when you have a husband who owns every tool at Home Depot and Lowe's. Just trying to do this. So if you ever need a tool, just come to my house. Um, so I am doing some spring cleaning of my medicine box, as I call it. Um, I have a tote at the barn. It has everything and anything I could possibly need inside of it. And I actually schlep it to horse shows and everything like that. Um, because there's a good chance that our very large toddlers on four legs are going to get hurt. So, um, yeah, I always take it everywhere. So, um, my box was kind of overflowing. There's a bunch of stuff that was like expiring. So I figured may as well go through it. So first things first, we live in Florida, so there's fungus everywhere when it's hot and gross and sticky. So I have some fungusol shampoo, I have some fungusol spray, and I also have doo -doo 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 -doo, a little ointment. So those are really great to have just if there's any kind of crud or anything, or maybe on the feet or any kind of sweet itch or something, you can just spray that on it. Um, speaking of feet, oh, I also have some Cowboy Magic from a friend, so I got a little bit of that shampoo. Um, but that's really not medical related so much. But if you do have a foot issue, um, I really like to use Magic Cushion. Um, I think that it um, really helps draw out any heat. It helps protect their feet. It just helps keep their little feet happy. I use it when I go to horse shows or if I have a sign of an abscess or a stone bruise. Um, I pack their feet for a couple of days. You don't have to wrap this. You can just put it on the feet. It holds extremely well when you have shoes on. So you use a glove. Um, so it's always good to have gloves on hand. Um, you use a glove because it's super sticky and it will get stuck to everything. And you um, apply it to the hoof, make a nice even application that's flush with the shoes and then you don't have to wrap it. You can just put their feet in shavings. If you have it packed in there, it will stay in there. So most of the time it stays in um, over 24 hours, but you do want to change it every 24 hours. Um, my farrier likes this too. So what makes him happy makes me happy because no hoof, no horse, right? So, and then we have, um, if you need to kind of treat the feet and anything like that, you can use Copper Tox. Um, this stuff stains terribly. Um, it's really good for thrush. They also have, I have this other stuff called thrush relief. It's the same thing. It also stains terribly. It's all the same thing anyways. So you want to make sure that I put this in a little container that has a brush in it. Um, and then I brush it on the feet and I think that's easier to apply than using anything else. Um, as far as feet goes, if you do need to pull anything out, some people use a drawing salve, so you can use that as well. And if you do that, then you can do that with cellophane. This is the Christmas version. Um, it was on sale. So the cellophane, and then you can use some vet wrap, which I always get the four inch, and then you can use some duct tape or some black tape. What you can also use if you hate making the stupid cross pattern when you're packing a hoof, this is genius, are you ready? Da -da. duct tape makes super fun duct tape sheets Amazon and um, these are super great so you just pop it on the foot wrap it around call it a day sometimes you can add an outside layer if you want these hold up really well um, especially in the summer when there's abscesses galore in Florida so that's kind of the hoof section per se if you have anything where you have to um, you know if you have an injury or something like that and you do want to like where you have a swelling, you can always use nitrofurazone and then cut it with some Dex or cut it with some drawings, I'm sorry, with some DMSO. Um, always use gloves. I don't care what people say, use gloves for the nitrofurazone. You know why? Because on the back of it, it says, you will die of cancer if you touch this. Not really, but it does say that it, let's see the actual wording, carcinogenesis. You know what that means? That means you're gonna get cancer. So wear gloves when you wear this. No matter what anybody says, I've been using these for years, just wear gloves, just do it. It's not that big of a deal. So, um, that's for drawing selves. As far as any kind, other kind of wounds, um, I like using Wonder Dust if it's just something little that just needs to, you just open it up and you puff it out. Um, that really kind of helps stop um, bleeding and it's just a nice little coating. And then if you have an open wound, you can use SWAT um, to help keep the flies away. You can also do, like I have a little bit of vetricin um, that you can use as well, or if you have any other kind of swelling, you can use, I have to go look for everything, it's not in very order. Um, you can use some liniment, so I like using the gel. I have the liquid as well. Um, Calvin, my horse, one of my horses doesn't like the liquid. He keeps doing like the wiggle thing when I do the liquid, even if I dilute it very, 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 you know, much down, doesn't like it. So I like using the liniment if they have any swelling or muscle pain or something, this is great. 
Um, if, from the vet, you can also get some methocarbamol, which is robaxin. So if your horse has like a severe case and needs to have some muscle related, bless you, that's the cat. Um, some muscle related, um, you know, relief, you can get some methocarbamol from your vet. Um, another thing I have from the vet is these are SMZs. Um, so, uh, my horse got in a severe, um, accident and had to be on antibiotics for a while. So we did some orals, we did some injectables. So it's always good to have these on file, um, or on hand. Um, also for some reason, my horse tends to keep having ulcers and issues and stuff like that. So when he sometimes has a flare up to help with the diarrhea, I give him metronidazole. It tends to help really well. So I have that as well. Um, coming back to the foot, if you have a really bad abscess that is just kind of taking its while to come out and kind of is doing like a track, this stuff is really well. I had a pretty bad abscess last year and it's called Tomorrow. It's actually a cattle product um, and it helps dry out cows if they have like udder issues. Utterly terrible. See what I did there? And what you can do, so the tip is super, super soft, which is great. So if you have a hole where there's an abscess, you can kind of just stick it in there and then squirt a little bit of it in. So this has really helped um, with the abscess that my other horse had that was like started on one side and you squirted this in and came in like halfway down the hoof. Fun times. So we have that. Um, if I have a little bit of cortisone, just if there is something that is like itchy or something like that and just needs to be applied, I only do this at night because you don't want to go in the sun with it. Um, the same with if you have um, MTG, you do not want to go in the sun with it. Just apply it at night um, if you need to use it. I don't like it. It smells terrible. Even the herbal one doesn't smell good. Um, if you have a gelding, you need to have Excalibur because that cleans the sheath. And for mares, you can clean the udders. Um, I'm sure they will love it. I'm sorry about all my animals frolicking around in the garage. They normally don't get to go in the garage. Um, also for feet, if you have really dry feet, you can use Rainmaker. So we have that on hand as well. Um, something that I also like to use, and I use it at horse shows a lot, is Poultice. This is a new brand that I haven't really tried yet. This is called Uptight. Um, I normally have a different brand that I use, but um, pretty much the same thing. It's just clay poultice, and it just stick it on. You can wrap it. You can don't wrap it. I often don't wrap it and turn them out and just leave their legs white, and they do their thing. Um, another thing is... I like to have eye wash on hand, especially a big bottle because it takes a decent amount to get actually get anything in your horse's eye and flush it. Um, I normally use a big 60cc syringe like this, draw it up, and then try to flush out their eye without them turning into a giraffe. So I have that. Um, I have some Myconahex Plus Triz shampoo, which is a strong antifungal antibiotic shampoo if they get kind of rain rowdy or something like that. I also have a mousse that's nice because it's a leave on. So we have that as well. My cat, there's my cat. Her name's Holly. Um, if your horse is dumb like my horse and sticks his foot through a fence, resulting in severe injury, um, you need to have cast padding. So not normally people have this, but I went through a ridiculous amount of it over a year. So I have cast padding. Um, I also have brown gauze. Um, I had cotton roll, just a little bit left. And I had um, elastic tape, so elasticon, um, and all kinds of other fun things. So that was great. Um, other things, if you have an open wound, aloe, um, aloe spray or aloe shield is really great. Kind of like a liquid band-aid. Don't spray it against the wind. And then if your horse is on medication and doesn't want to eat anything, I always have like molasses or yogurt. Um, Go-Gurt works. Um, my horse likes the berry flavor. Um, and then if you do have really severe hoof issues and you need to pack it, the number, what is this, number two, number one or two diaper will always do it. So you can do the diaper and then add the cool duct tape sheet over it as well to keep it, which makes it just a little bit easier to do everything. Um, let's see, I think that covers most of it. I do have some baby oil if they do have some, um, if they have some rain rot, I kind of put that on it and it's easy to scrub it off without irritating them too much. Of course, um, banamine, it's good to have on on hand I also have ace and I have dexamethasone um, when they roll in ants which they seem to always do I have Benadryl let's see what else I got in here and I have all different kinds of syringes and needles um, I have this is some reserpine I had this when my horse was on stall rest I always keep a big bottle of empty um, prescription bottles in case you need that to fill it for anything or if you're at a barn where you need to pre-do it um, I also carry some common focus 
which is always a really good product to have when you're at a horse show and they just need to calm down a little bit and it is show safe. So I have some of those. Um, I have Ulcer Guard as well, also great for showing. And different syringes, different needles, kind of keep those all on hand. Um, these are the Equiwinter sweat patches when my horse was a non-sweater. Um, he has started sweating since. I still have a couple extras left. This kind of jump starts the system, so I keep a couple on hand. Um, but he is now on Platinum Performance. Um, a thermoregulator and he's doing really well on that. So fingers crossed that that will stay the same for the summer. And I think that, oh, I have this as well, which my horse has broken, but so the bottom is missing of it, but also good to have a little soaking boot. And then there's a couple other things that I have, such as like an antibiotic cream just on hand for wounds. Um, of course, standing wraps, everything like that. And I, um, I'm going to put everything in my little um, new container and have it more organized. I also have bandage scissors because they're really easy to cut through things when you have issues. And um, oh, this one is great. I have my little grinder. It's a little coffee grinder and I use it when I have to give any um, pills. Um, do note after you grind it, do not open it right away because otherwise you will inhale all the medication because it turns into a massive dust cloud. So fun facts that I learned. But I think that kind of wraps it up. If you guys have any other things that you can think of, I'm sure I forgot something. But those are kind of my main things um, as I finally brought everything home to kind of stick it all together. Um, and I also have Car Duracell is the other product I use besides Copper Talks to help with thrush and things like that in the summer. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a great night. Bye, guys.